game music. It's the melodic element designed to captivate our emotions and immerse us in the world of the game. The way it harmonizes with the visuals helps to deliver a truly memorable experience. Sometimes, these songs are reborn in brilliant new form. Welcome to Melodies of Gaming, a musical series that explores reimagined songs and official game titles and how they capture the essence of the action. In this episode, we will examine the music of Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle for the Nintendo Switch and how the reprised themes have changed from the originals of their respective games. I'm Matthew Kierkegaard, but you may know me as Peach Toadstool. Hey everyone, Andre Seegers here! And I'm Jake Steinberg. What is up, everybody? For today, we have the great pleasure of introducing Grant Kirkhope, the composer of the game and one for the upcoming sequel, Sparks of Hope, known for fantastic compositions from many classics from Rare and beyond. Hey! Now, let's begin this melodious journey. Rabbids, zany lagomorphs known for getting into all sorts of mischief, have had their own spin-off series since Rayman Raving Rabbids, a 2004 party game by Ubisoft Entertainment. Certainly, not many would have imagined these wacky bunnies would one day team up on an adventure with Mario and company, considering the differences in character design and gameplay, but some brilliant minds from Ubisoft would soon surprise the world. In 2014, Ubisoft Milan's creative director Davide Soliani and brand producer Xavier Mencenares had ideas for creating a Rabbids title that was unconventional for the series up to that point. After much deliberation, they settled on pitching to Nintendo a crossover between the Mario and Rabbids franchises as a turn-based strategy game, a genre never associated with the intellectual properties before. And upon seeing a prototype, Shigeru Miyamoto had concern over the weapons used by the characters. But this was addressed by implementing over-the-top magical arm cannons and other such artillery befitting the whimsy of the game. What resulted from their hard work is what became Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, revealed and released in 2017 for the Nintendo Switch. In the main story mode, the rabbits find an adventure's headset that can fuse two things together, and the chaos that ensues creates Rabbit Peach and others, as Beepo, the robot assistant, watches on in shock. And when their transport malfunctions, it warps them all to the Mushroom Kingdom. A large vortex then appears in the sky, abducting Mario and company during a ceremony, dropping them, along with the new arrivals, high above ancient gardens. The invention then glitches out, fusing with its wearer who was later named Spawny. Then, after rescuing Beepo from nearly being crushed, Mario lands and encounters some of the visitors amidst the mayhem. Together, they must team up to track down Spawny and restore order. A side story comes in the form of DLC called Donkey Kong Adventure, featuring Donkey Kong, Rabbit Cranky, and Rabbit Peach, related to the events of the Rabbit Kong in the main story mode. The entire soundtrack of the game, including music from the DLC, was composed by Grant Kirkhope. Many of the styles associated with Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64, and Ukulele show using orchestral instruments. This seems very appropriate for such a wildly whimsical game. There is even a vocal masterpiece, Phantom of the Boapera, performed by baritone singer Augustin Chamel with lyrics by Christina Nava. Like this sample, many of the compositions are unique to the game, but several of them come from past titles in the Mario and Donkey Kong series. The grounds of Peach's Castle serve as the central hub for all features and areas in the main story mode. When exploring this spot, a magical theme is heard, reflecting the unrestrained, childlike imagination of the rabbits on full display in the area. But just before the 42nd mark, a very familiar tune begins to play that has become synonymous with Peach's Castle ever since Super Mario 64. Covered more thoroughly in Episode 2, Inside the Castle Walls played while exploring the interior areas of Peach's Castle. It provided playful yet elegant chamber music that left a positive, lasting impact on the memories of many Mario fans. The arrangement in Kingdom Battle keeps the spirit of the original while adding some of the colorful accents and chord progressions befitting the game's soundtrack in their own new sections. The instrument changes in the repeat of the melody, adding a bit more variety in the sound. All in all, this is arguably one of the best takes on the theme to date. While the longer compositions are great, even the iconic jingles add to the charm. If we fail a mission, we're greeted with a game over. Straight from Super Mario Bros. But if we are victorious in the missions to the end of the chapter, our triumph is noted with a fanfare. Ooh. 
like when clearing a course in Super Mario Bros. Simple, short, and sweet. Deep within the ancient gardens, Mario and friends come across a tower made of colorful building blocks. While battling in this setting, a beautiful piece called Tower Trouble plays. But about a minute in, there's a clue about who awaits the team at the end of the path. With the crew finally having caught up with a frightened Spawny, Bowser Jr. wins over the critter's trust and uses a giant banana to lure out the ruler of the region, Rabbit Kong. The protagonists are left with no choice but to face off against the beast with a greedy appetite for the yellow fruit. The battle theme that plays contains the entirety of the first melodic phrase of DK Island Swing, a composition written by David Wise, first heard in Donkey Kong Country. Inspired by swing style from the 1930s, this theme could be heard in the first stage of the game, Jungle Hijinks in Congo Jungle. It was so influential that it appeared in a variety of games since. In Donkey Kong 64, the starting area of Jungle Japes featured the legendary tune, but I followed it up by putting my own spin on it with some original content. Throughout the Donkey Kong Adventure DLC for Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, DK Island Swing cameos in many tracks, but perhaps the most robust remix of the source is found in Jungle Joust, the battle theme for the jungle area. It's the only arrangement that features the additional content I wrote for Donkey Kong 64. Before the battle and missions for Donkey Kong Adventure, there is generally appropriate music. But we don't have to wait long before one of the oldest Nintendo themes is revealed. This was first heard as a title theme for Donkey Kong on the NES. It's simple and memorable, much like many other Nintendo themes of the 1980s. Of course, a more rebellious mix is heard in Donkey Kong Country's opening scene. Yep, it's got attitude! For the most part, the general boss theme of Donkey Kong Adventure, being mid-boss melody, is a new composition. However, after a minute or so into the piece, the same classic theme appears as an optimistic, emboldening phrase. What a rush! But there is still one more instance of this tune in the DLC. Deep within the reef, a grand coral organ can be found. When the colored rocks are pushed in the correct order, the way forward opens. The solution to the first puzzle references the aforementioned theme with its blah boosted pipes. Afterwards, the organ leads with an additional sequence of notes to follow for access to an optional treasure. This melody too may sound familiar. It's Bonus Room Blitz from Donkey Kong Country. This tune is heard in, you guessed it, Bonus Rooms. It's a jaunty, jazzy ditty befitting the break from the main action. In Donkey Kong Adventure's timed bonus rooms, an arrangement faithful to the source material plays, dubbed Jungle Jabber. It holds only minor aesthetic differences, such as the replacement of the monkey-sounding Kuikas with primate calls in the bridge. Just over 10 seconds remaining, the music speeds up to highlight the urgency to reach the goal. The nostalgia is strong here. Much like in the main story mode, the win and lose jingles of Donkey Kong Adventure are remixes of past titles. There's one when failing a mission. 
which originated from Donkey Kong Country. And when a chapter is completed, this remix is then heard. Also being from Donkey Kong Country, specifically after clearing a stage and returning to the map. Ah, the memories. But in all of this, we still have yet to cover one very important theme. After playing Donkey Kong Adventure, an alternate title screen awaits, depicting the jungle. In the background is a mellow theme that should sound very familiar to those who played Donkey Kong 64. The DK Isles were the central hub in the game, and access to all levels could be found within this area. The mainland mass was none other than Kong Isle, marked by the unforgettable face of Donkey Kong himself. Despite the few scattered enemies inhabiting the region, it was generally peaceful. The DK Isle theme, also written by Grant Kirkhope, reflected that fact well. Played in C major, an intro provides string pads, a pumping string bass, big tom hits, and conga drums setting the mood of a tropical paradise. The woodwind melody comes in soon after, layered atop a chord progression with a common C root, emphasized heavily by the bass. This section repeats, now adding a horn counter melody throughout. This section changes the feeling a bit, creating some tension in the F to G rising chord progression. Simultaneously, the simplified bass hovers on G with the added shakers in the percussion. The chords and bass then synchronize, starting with E minor and ending with G major. For the repeat, another woodwind plays the counterpoint, much like the horns in the previous section. Returning to the original melody, the C section is a modification of the A section, with the steel drum rolls substituting the previous string ensemble and the marimba playing the melody. The bass is emitted and the drum hits are presented with a different timbre. Here one more percussive element is added, the Latin guiro. Rather than repeating this section, the piece loops back to the start. One could say that the structural consistency and easy-going pace help to give the sense of a reliable safe haven, to which the player would return throughout the game. While the alternate title theme made for the purpose of Donkey Kong Adventure is remarkable, it's merely a subdued version of a much fuller composition, being Lagoon Promenade, which is heard in the first world of the DLC, Banana Lagoon. The music here reflects a landscape that is majestic, featuring clear waters, palm-filled beaches, and even a harbor village. Much like the source, the piece starts in C major, with the intro consisting of staccato strings playing suspended chords very similarly to the original bass line, with the new bass simplified as sustained notes. The congas here are absent, leaving the big drum beats as the sole percussion here. A flute comes in, playing the melody almost identically to that of the original, but the call and response counter melody played by the bell is very different. In the repeat cued by the timpani roll, there is a richer sound with a horn lead, change in chord rhythm and instrumentation, and bass strings playing the previous rhythm. The counter melody and percussion are left out at this point, leaving potential for escalation.
section dials the intensity back a bit, switching from an eighth note chord rhythm to a simpler quarter note structure, retaining the staccato. Like the previous section, the chord progression is nearly identical to the source, making adjustments that may go unnoticed when listening casually. For the repeat, the melody adds bells played an octave higher with support from the horn pads and a reed counterpoint. The C section once again is a modified A section, but rather than having a laid back vacationing vibe to the changes, the composition goes all in with the intensity. It provides a bold horn melody, additional big drum hits, timpani rolls and cymbal crashes. This all cools down into a bridge consisting only of the rhythmic strings before the piece loops back to the very beginning. <laughs> It's a fully realised rendition of the theme associated with the DK Isles, reflecting the expanse of the tropical locale amidst both the action and the adventure. And with that, we've come to the end of this melodious journey. Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle presented us with colourful arrangements of classic themes from the Mario and Donkey Kong series. We are excited to hear what surprises await in the sequel, Sparks of Hope. Many thanks go to composer Grant Kirkhope for collaborating with us and helping to inspire the Calypso-flavored piano reprise heard at the end of this video. Check the description to see how you can follow and support him. Have a good one. See ya. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. That's all for this episode of Melodies of Gaming. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this musical analysis, consider giving it a like and let us know which reimagined game music you would like us to examine in the comments below, and we may feature it in a future episode. Please be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell if you haven't yet. And of course, stay tuned to Game Explain for more Melodies of Gaming and other things gaming too. Until next time, ciao.